I'm Danielle Tanner and I'm here from Marion Public Library again with another book review. I have Hide by Kirsten White. So in Hyde, you follow the story of Mac as she is signed up to be a part of a hide and seek competition where the winner takes home 50,000 at the end of it. You end up getting a sort of like Big Brother Hunger Games mix vibe from it and especially from Mac because you find out that she's the sole survivor of the hide and seek massacre that happened a while back when she was just a little kid. Um, but she's currently living in a homeless shelter and the main woman of the homeless shelter points out that there's this competition coming up and she thinks Mac would be perfect for it. 14 people are taken into this amusement park, told, hey, you're gonna play hide and seek. Two people are eliminated a day. Last one standing wins. Let's do this. And things kind of don't go how you would expect them to go with a hide and seek competition. 14 people go in to an amusement park to compete. One comes out. It sort of seems like a slow start, but it picks up really quickly after that little tiny slow start of just a couple of chapters to kind of get you into the story. But if you're into horror, thriller, not quite knowing what could happen next sort of thing, this one is a good read for you. Two read elects that I would suggest for Hyde are The Long Weekend by Gilly McMillan. That one you follow the story of two other people who are dealing with why are these people going missing? How did they go missing? Are we going to go missing? And that sort of thing, very similar to this premise. In Hunting Party by Lucy Folly, a group of, I believe it's eight friends, get together and they start disappearing one by one. And nobody knows why. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Let us know what you guys are reading down in the comments below.